Hello, I'm Lord Durham. I'm here today with a good friend of mine, Robert Baldwin. When I got to the Canada's upper and lower, there was nothing like Britain at all. Sir Baldwin said that he preferred Britain better. What I will be talking about in my report is called the Durham Report. The report was completed January 1839. It was re presented to the Colonial Office February 1839 by me. I had appointed Governor General to investigate the colonies after rebellions to see if I could make any possible changes. My two main recommendations for the Canadas were responsible government and to the union of the Upper and Lower Canada. In Lower Canada, I described the problem that I saw to ensure harmony and progress. I also recommended assimilating the French Canadians, who I called all the people with no literature and history. <clears throat> what do you think of the assimilation of the French, Sir Baldwin? I think that is a mighty fine idea, Lord Durham. Do you mind if I tell my short story of what I did, then you can continue? <laughs> no, 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 you may. In February 1840, I was persuaded by Thomas Blett to accept the post of Solicitor General of Upper Canada. In February 1841, I became Solicitor General of Canada West, with a seat in an executive council. Before the year was over, I resigned from the council once again. In 1827, I married my cousin Elizabeth Augusta. You, your cousin? Yes, my cousin. I thought she was a very beautiful woman. No more, no more! Together, we had two sons and two daughters. Anyways, I'll let you continue with your story, Lord Durham. Thank you. Where was I? Oh, yes, assimilating the French. Now, the reformers wanted a responsible government, and Montreal supported the Union largely because it was a way to overcome the French-Canadian opposition to their plans for economic development. French Canadians were opposed to the Union and reaffirmed their determination to defend their nationality. The British government accepted <coughs> the recommendations for a union of the Canadas, which was called the Act of Unions. However, responsible government was not formally implemented until 1847, and Durham's recommendation for a division of powers between imperial and colonial responsibilities was rejected. <coughs> Although controversial in its direct influence in the creation of the province of Canada, an emergency of party system and the strengthening of local self-government, <coughs> the Durham's report is generally regarded to have played an important role in the development of the Canadian autonomy. Thank you for listening to our stories, everyone. Have a great rest of your day and hope to see you soon. Why did you embarrass me like that? Shh, you have to go.